Are you still struggling with aching hairpins, square turns or any other acute or very tight turns? Well, not anymore, because I found a very useful app a few days ago and for me it changed everything. This app is called OpenTrack and it's an app that can use a lot of devices to emulate other devices. So if you haven't guessed it by now, in this video I will teach you how to set your steering wheel to rotate the camera left or right, so every time you come close to any tight corner you will be able to see its apex and get a perfect line. For this video I will use EA Sports WRC as an example and I'm gonna take you through the whole process of getting the app, setting it up and how to use it. First, what you gotta do is to open your favorite browser and type OpenTrack. From here, you need to go over to GitHub and download the latest version, which is 2023.3.0. You can also follow the first link from the description. Choose the .exe from the list below and install the app. Once the installer is done, run the app and if everything goes well, you will be greeted by this cute pink octopus. The next step is to install the VJ plugin. To do this, just click on the hammer button in the output tab, then click download directly. This will open another GitHub page from where you'll need to download the vjsetup.exe. Close OpenTrack, install vjoy and when done, relaunch OpenTrack app. If you encountered the same problem I had when installing vjoy, which had the installer stuck with the bar full but without any notification if the app is done installing or failed, open the test manager and force close the installer from here. For a split second right before closing, a small window will pop up saying that the installer is complete. Don't worry, because it's true. We can now proceed further. Back in the OpenTrack app, from the input drop-down menu, you want to select joystick input. Now click on the first hammer to open the tracker settings. As a device, select your steering wheel, in my case it's the Logitech G29. Now the axis you're looking for the camera rotation is yaw. For Logitech G29, the rotation of the steering wheel is registered as joystick axis 2. So this is the one you want to assign as yaw. I suggest you disable the other ones because you don't want your pedals or any other axis to mess with your camera. For other steering wheels, the steering axis may be different, so to check which one is yours, hit start tracking and hit the steering wheel from left to right while checking on this tab right here to see which axis registers any input. Then open the input settings again and select the corresponding axis as yaw. Now before we get into more advanced settings, let's see if we set everything right and if the app recognizes our input. Hit start tracking and move the steering wheel left or right. If the octopus rotates, then you're good to go. Now open EAWRC and go to controls. You will be prompted to calibrate the new device, set the device type as steering wheel. Next, go to the vibrations tab and turn off all force feedback, just in case it starts some conflicts with the actual steering wheel. Now back in the bindings tab, just scroll down until you reach the camera bindings. Now depending on which camera you play from, head or mounted, bind camera left to steer left and camera right to steer right. If no input is registered, that may be because you hit stop tracking in the OpenTrack app. Don't panic, just bring the app up, click start and read your bindings. After this, set the dead zone for each binding to zero by clicking on the binding and selecting dead zone and saturation. When you're done, just load up a track and see if rotating the steering wheel rotates the camera as well. Now comes the tricky part. Back in the OpenTrack app, there are two more settings we need to set up right. First, in the options menu, you need to go to the last tab and set the rotation, filtering, smoothing and dead zone as high as possible. Second, in the mapping menu, you need to adjust the yaw settings. First is the maximum input, which allows you to set the degrees of rotation. Even though it says 180 degrees, it doesn't translate to just half of a rotation, but to the entire angle of rotation your steering wheel is set at. 90 degrees will not mean just a quarter of rotation, but half of what the steering wheel is set at and so on with every increment. So you can set this however you want, but I recommend going with 180. Next is the linearity, which is this red line on this blue graph. By default it's set as perfectly linear, which means that with each degree of wheel rotation, the camera will rotate as well. Now I strongly recommend you don't leave it like this, because with the slightest steering movement your camera will keep shaking from left to right deceiving you and causing you to crash indefinitely. Also, you'll likely get dizzy. What you wanna do is to modify this line to only start rotating the camera when on high steering input before hairpins or tight corners. To do this, you just have to click on the graph where you want to add points and the line will follow them. Now, in order to set the perfect profile, follow these three simple steps. First, go on a twisty track like Monte Carlo or Gracia with the tracking stopped and look at how much you rotate the wheel when initiating a hairpin.
Second, hit Alt plus Tab to switch to the open track and hit Start. With the mapping window open, rotate the wheel to the same position it was when initiating the hairpin and look at where the red circle stops. Then with the cursor, click to add your first point and hold click to drag it to the bottom of the graph, making sure the second value is 0.00. .00. This point will mark the start of camera rotation. Now add another point in the top right corner of the graph to mark the end of the camera rotation. The third and last step is to go back into the game and see how much the camera rotates when taking the hairpins. If it's too much, just head back to the graph and drag the second point to a lower value. If you leave the graph like this, for example, the camera will start to rotate from here up until this point. Or you can move the ending point much closer to the starting point if you just want a quick and short rotation, while the rest of the input will not register any camera rotation whatsoever. It's that simple. Now for the dirt or snow tracks, normally the steering input is more brutal and you will probably make the camera rotate too much leading to what I've said earlier with the default settings. I recommend you make another profile where you move the starting point more to the right so the camera will start to rotate only from a larger steering angle. Or you can leave tracking off completely. But on asphalt stages where the steering input is smooth and flows nicely from corner to corner, this app is better than gold. If you happen to only use one profile per game, make sure you go back into the options window, game detection tab, browse your favorite game and assign the respective profile to it. This way, every time you launch a game, the tracking will start automatically so you don't have to press start every time after launching OpenTrack and select the corresponding profile. Note that finding the right settings for you and getting used to them will take some time. But patience is key, and once you get them right, you won't be able to drive on Rally Monte or any other twisty asphalt track without them. You can thank me later. Please leave your feedback in the comment section below and show your support by clicking the thanks, like and subscribe buttons. Hit me up on the socials at NoxNovaYT on X and Instagram and share this video with your friends and family. Thank you for watching and as always, see you on the track. Bye bye!